it's time to plant oxalis. Wait, what? Yeah, oxalis. I'm not going mad, but I mean oxalis tuberosa. These guys, these weird wrinkly little tubers are also known as New Zealand yams and they are completely edible. The tubers can be cooked just like a spud, so you can roast them, boil them, or turn them into a salad, but you can also eat the tubers raw. And the leafy foliage growth, which looks a lot like oxalis, the weedy one, is edible as well. It's got a nice peppery flavor to it. So let me show you how to plant them. The great thing about New Zealand yams, or ochre as they're sometimes called, is that they don't need full sun. This is a spot here that gets morning sun and a little bit of midday sun, but thanks to the raspberry that covers the fence behind me, it gets full protection from the hot afternoon sun. So here's a perfect spot to plant them. All you need to do is dig a hole and pop them down about five centimetres and cover them back over. You can hill up around them as the shoots emerge, just like you might with indeterminate potatoes, but you don't have to. You'll still get a harvest if you're too lazy to do that. The plants themselves aren't huge, growing to about 30 centimetres tall by 30 centimetres wide. So they're a handy one to squeeze into small spaces that are a little bit shady and also a great one to underplant taller crops. And yes, you can grow them in pots. Something about 30 or 40 centimetres wide and deep is perfect for one tuber. And again, just plant it into premium potting mix, about five centimetres deep and cover it over. Make sure you keep your yams well watered, particularly in really hot weather, as you will notice the foliage wilt. They're ready to harvest once the foliage starts to yellow off and die back. And then you can dig them up and use them in cooking. And my final tip, make sure that you label where you have planted it because it's foliage looks a lot like weedy oxalis and you don't want to pull it out by mistake. <laughs>